I was pretty excited when our two Sven and Son adjustable bed frames arrived and I noticed the girl unloaded them in my garage using a little hand cart, uh, almost like a forklift. And now the question was going to be, how am I going to install these uh, by myself? Because I did not purchase the white glove service because it was $250. Now, these each weigh about 175 to 180 pounds, and they're very clumsy uh, to manage by yourself. Here you can see one of the bed frames laying in our bedroom. But before I got to this point, I had to remove my existing uh, bed platforms uh, and the foot rail. Our previous bed was a sleep number bed that sat on top of these plastic, kind of hard plastic uh, platforms. So these are pretty lightweight and fairly easy to lift off and get out of the way. Okay, I got the footboard off. I've got one of the uh, platforms out. Now I got to carry out the other platform. I've got the uh, adjustable sitting over here, just kind of leaning up against the wall right now. I've got the super sliders underneath and uh, I've got to take out this metal frame that connects these sideboards because those will not stay. Okay, now I have to take out these little cross members and these are just uh, little Phillips screws. There's one on each side and there's three rails. My concern is that when I remove those cross members, obviously these side rails are just gonna fall down. And when they fall down, that headboard is gonna come tipping forward. And I'm not sure if these sideboards will hold that headboard or are they going to just unsnap from the headboard and let it fall. So I might come up with a way to secure that headboard so I can keep it from falling forward before I take off all of these uh, frame rails. I think I'll start with the two back here. That way I've still got this one supporting everything and then I'll figure out how I'm gonna hold that headboard up. Okay, I have the two cross rails from the headboard side out, and I just have the one left here at the foot, and I'm just using that to hold up these sideboards so that this headboard doesn't just tip over. I think the easiest way to keep this headboard straight up and see, keep these sideboards up, I'm just gonna put a little box. I built myself a little box out of some scrap cardboard. Actually, this is the packing material that came with this uh, adjustable frame so I just taped together so it's you know it's fairly sturdy this way and I wanted to put this piece on here so it wouldn't you know tip over and fold up so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to if I can do this and hold the camera at the same time I'm going to put this sideboard up under this box like that and hopefully that will hold it enough so that I can slide our adjustable bed in. Now, I might have to take off these little rails here. I'm not sure if those have to come off. I, they probably do. And they do just unscrew. That's cross member. It looks like my little boxes are holding. So that's good. I was able to get the first bed frame out of the uh, packing box and I'm using some of these little super sliders. They're basically furniture movers that slide on carpet and I was able even though it was very difficult to do I had to use a carpet to keep it from scratching the wood floor but I was able to slide this through the house and get it into a position in our bedroom just kind of leaning up against the wall here here you can see me sliding this uh, adjustable bed frame through the doorway uh, it's hard to describe how heavy and bulky and clumsy this thing is to move because it wants to fall over because of all that weight on one side. But these little uh, furniture sliders help a great deal. 
And of course, you don't want to damage the fabric uh, that this bed frame is wrapped in. So I'm just leaning it up against the door here until I uh, read the instructions and kind of uh, try to figure out exactly how this thing's supposed to go together and what the next steps are going to be. So my first objective, my thinking was I would lay this uh, adjustable frame over upside down and then attach the four legs. And then I really wasn't given any thought to how I was going to get this frame upright once I got the legs installed. As it turns out, you can't put any pressure on those legs. So tipping it up onto the legs and then flipping it up into place just isn't an option. Those legs would break off because this thing is way too heavy. But I didn't know that at this time. I hadn't read the instructions carefully enough. And so that was my first uh, mistake and the first thing I tried to do. And I can't, again, emphasize enough how heavy and bulky this thing really is because it's all made out of steel and there's a lot of electric motors and, and uh, actuators and things underneath. So here you can see I tried installing the four legs, but there was no way I could tip this thing over by myself without damaging those legs. My next plan of action was to see if I could hire a couple of strong guys to come in here and pick this thing up and flip it over and put it into place. And then, of course, help me get the other one from the garage into the bedroom and do the same thing with it. I contacted Tackle.com. I contacted uh, TaskRabbit.com. I did everything I knew. I even tried to reach out to some of my neighbors. I was unable to find anybody uh, to help me. And uh, it was obvious I was going to have to figure out a way to do this by myself. Okay, since I've been unable to find anybody to help me lift this adjustable frame, which weighs about 175 pounds, I think. Once again, I'm left with figuring it out a way to do it myself. And I've come up with what I think might work. What I have to do is flip this thing over so that the frame side is down. And I can lift up one side of this and get it to flip over. So what I did, this is part of my old bed frame, the plastic platform that our mattresses sat on. I wanted to stop the video here and say, if you don't have a platform like this, you could very easily build something out of two by fours to do the same thing I'm doing here. And I'm gonna use this as a platform to flip this over onto if I can. This is about six, seven inches tall and these legs are nine inches tall. So this is not quite as tall as I would like. I wish it was nine inches, nine and a half inches. Once I get this frame sitting on top of this upside down from what it is right now, then I'm going to try to lift one corner at a time and attach these legs from underneath. I've got a small scissor jack that I can use, I think, to lift up this frame from underneath. So let's see if I can't flip this thing over and get it onto this base. I should also mention I went ahead and removed the side rails from the headboard and I have them leaning up against the wall and one of them's over here. Uh, that'll just give me a little more room to work. So I'm going to slide this over so I have some room to tip it up onto this frame. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm not going to end up using my little boxes. So let's see if I can flip this over onto that frame. <sighs> okay, I've got it up. I've got to take these legs off first. I'm hoping it won't just shove this whole thing out of the way. Let's see what happens. Maybe when it starts getting some weight on it, it will hold like that. That's what I want right there. Okay, now I can slide this onto that frame. Okay, we're in business. So let's take a look at what we've got. We've got our 
bed frame sitting up on top of our old platform and the objective now is I can come underneath and attach those legs to that frame but as you can see as you can see it's still not high enough off the ground so I'm going to use my scissor jack to raise this corner up. Granted, this may be a somewhat slow and tedious process, but it saved me $250 of white glove service, and it is a way you can do it by yourself. Checking to see if I'm up high enough. I'm not. I need to go up a couple more inches. I don't think it's going to be enough to cause any problem with the bed starting to slide. Now this is not safe and I do not recommend this. I'm not saying that this is how you should do this but this is how I'm doing it because I'm doing it by myself. This leg right here even if the bed fell right now it would fall and hit that platform so I don't think it would it might break my arm but that'd be about it. And we're only supposed to hand tighten these. They don't have to be super tight. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and throw a furniture mover on there. I'm going to go ahead and put one of these little super sliders underneath there so it'll be easy to slide around once we get it down. Now I'm ready to install the second leg. After screwing in the legs, I'm using these little furniture sliders that slide on carpet and I'm putting one underneath each leg. Okay, I've got my little furniture slider under there. Okay, so this one is now off. Now let's go do the other side for the third leg to go on. I think I can get it up under there. Oh, yeah. Here you can see those little furniture sliders I'm using. I bought these on Amazon and I'll put a link in the description to those so you can use these if you decide to do this yourself. Okay, now my fourth leg is going on right now. Get my slider. And when this jack is down, it's resting on all four legs. So, right now I think I'm Feeling pretty good about myself. Save $250 in white glove service. Let's see if we can slide it into place. Look at that. Just moves like butter. Look at that. Perfect. After sliding the second uh, frame into the house, it was a little easier because I just went ahead and dropped it right onto the platform. I didn't have to pick it up off the ground and flip it over. So I just brought it into the bedroom and just set it right on top of that platform and then repeated the process, just installed all four legs just like I did on the first platform. Now again, you could build yourself a little two by four uh, frame to do the same thing. You don't have to have a plastic platform like I have. In fact, I was gonna start to build a frame and then I realized I had this plastic platform. Mm -hmm.